Well, some of the recent studies have to do with uh, evaluating many studies, many other epidemiological studies in a, in a meta-analysis. And there's no doubt that alcohol causes cancer. There's good evidence for it. It causes cancer in a dose-related way. But the, the critical questions get, gets to be how much? How much is safe and how much is unsafe? My take is that that is uh, not only an exaggeration, but it's really a, a misinterpretation of data. There really is no hard evidence that one drop of alcohol is going to increase your risk of cancer, and this is what the symposium is going to address. There have been several publications that have actually measured alcohol content in foods. It is small, but foods like bananas, for example, apple juice, breads, all have a certain amount of alcohol in it. Very small amounts, but much more than a drop. The current recommendations are one drink per day per, if you're a woman and a couple drinks a day if you're a, a guy. So you shouldn't exceed that. I, my personal opinion is that that's fairly reasonable. But there are other factors involved here too. If you're someone who's particularly sensitive to alcohol, genetically or for other reasons, or you have a predisposition for dependence, there's some data to indicate that the pattern of alcohol consumption makes a difference too. For example, if you consume one drink a day, seven drinks a week, uh, as opposed to drinking seven drinks on the weekends, Friday and Saturday night, there are some data that indicate that that can make a difference in terms of your risk for cancer. What prompted this symposium was listening to some press releases back in January where they were telling people that one drop of alcohol can increase your risk of cancer. And that really bothered me as a toxicologist because we all believe in dose response and we all believe in thresholds. And so it was then that I got together with a couple of my colleagues and we put together this symposium to address that. Is that a reasonable statement or is it not? And that's what we'll be talking about. Because as I said, there's no doubt that alcohol consumption is associated with cancer. It's, it's a question of how much. Want more toxicology? Don't go anywhere. Click the link right here to watch all of our content from SOT TV 2025. Have fun.